Whirlpool Air Conditioner Model WHAW121BW Repairs Enter the realm of cool comfort. Easy to install and operate, the Whirlpool 12000 BTU window-mounted air conditioner quickly cools and dehumidifies a room up to 550 square feet. Equipped with a programmable 24-hour on-off timer, you can customize cooling time to fit your schedule for immediate comfort when you get home. Three cooling speeds, Eco Mode and Sleep Mode all give you the flexibility you need to keep you and your loved ones cool and comfortable. Plus, maintenance is a breeze with the removable and washable air filter. At Whirlpool, we take comfort and caring to the next level. Repairs Whirlpool manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair, however, if you're in need of Whirlpool appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Air filter. If the air filter is clogged, air cannot flow properly through the air conditioner. This greatly reduces the cooling capacity of the air conditioner. In addition, if the air filter is clogged, the evaporator coils will frost over. To remove debris from the air filter, try cleaning the filter. If it is not possible to clean the air filter, replace it. Condenser coils are dirty. The condenser coils dissipate the heat as the refrigerant passes through the coils. If the condenser coils are dirty, they won't be able to dissipate the heat as effectively. As debris builds up on the coils, the air conditioner will become less efficient, causing the air conditioner to work harder to cool down. If the coils are significantly dirty, the air conditioner will not be able to maintain the proper temperature, and the compressor will run continuously in an attempt to cool the room. Check the condenser coils to determine if they are dirty. If the condenser coils are dirty, clean them. Compressor. The compressor might be defective. However, this is not usually the case. Before replacing the compressor, be sure to check more commonly defective components, particularly the overload protector and the compressor capacitor. If the compressor is defective, it should only be replaced by a licensed technician. Thermostat. The thermostat monitors the temperature of the air. When the air temperature rises above a set point, the thermostat activates a switch to provide power to the fan and compressor. If the thermostat is defective, the thermostat may not cool properly. To determine if the thermostat is defective, set the air conditioner to cooling and then use a multimeter to test the thermostat for continuity. If the thermostat does not have continuity while the air conditioner is set to cooling, replace the thermostat. Note. Some thermostats may also control a heater and, as a result, will have three terminals. Refer to your air conditioner's wiring diagram for more information. Control board. The control board regulates the voltage to the compressor and the fan motor. If the control board fails, some components will not function properly or will not work at all. Control boards are often misdiagnosed. Make sure to check more commonly defective parts first before replacing the control board. Main control board. The main control board regulates the voltage to the compressor and the fan motor. If the main control board fails, some components will not function properly or will not work at all. Main control boards are often misdiagnosed. Make sure to check more commonly defective parts first before replacing the main control board. 